camping skills you need to survive, or at least make it through the night for some of us. The friends that friends you make that keep you involved, the fun times you share with people who love doing the same thing you do, the feeling of climbing the mountain and looking next to you and only seeing the things you used to dream about. That is what Scotty means to me. My trail to Eagle was, well, fun in one way and hard in another. I started as a scout, turning into a tenderfoot not long after. Summer camp came fast and I was second in first class by the end of the week. And my trail hit a point of work. First class is star. It introduces you to merit badges that actually do make you think. My first Eagle merit badge class, I sat there thinking this badge is useless. But as I hit star, my trail to life became what I thought at the time, one of the biggest trails I ever had to take. I started to realize that merit badges weren't useless at all. Merit badges are a part of what teaches the life skills we need and opens doors to so many new challenges. I got through life with a lot of help from Mr. B's merit badge classes. Once I was life, the leaders and older Eagle Scouts told me what had to be done for Eagle. I would have to plan and execute an Eagle project to help the community. So I did. However, I didn't do it alone. I had the help from my true Cub Scout pack, Scout leaders, my parents, and Mayor Morowski. Once my project was done, I had to finish working on the last merit badges. When those were done, I took a deep breath, turned my Eagle Scout application, and said to myself, I did it. What a relief. However, then, then came the board review. I thought, what a way to burst your bubble, because this is going to be tough. I was nervous, but when I went through my board, I thought, I did okay, yet I still worry. You see, the board really keeps you on the edge of your seat wondering. And I was called back in and informed that it was official and I had passed my Eagle Board review. I listened to those words and then it really sank in. I am there. I am a real Eagle Scout. What an awesome feeling. For years as I came up in scouting, I looked up to the older boys who were Pedros and Eagle Scouts. I made it my goal to work as hard as I can and to reach as high as I could so I could become an Eagle Scout and be an example for the younger Scouts. Now that I have come this far and I don't plan to stop here, I plan to continue on as far as scouting will take me. The dreams that you can reach, the skills you can learn, and friends you make don't just stop at Eagle. They continue on for the rest of your life. At this time, I'd like to take a few words, say a few words to some important people in my life who have helped me achieve my goal. <coughs> Though the trail is long and sometimes hard, you were there to help me through. When I needed advice, support, or strength, you were there. You, become, you became my dead mom. <coughs> You've taken me back and forth between outings and meetings. You slept outside in tents during, during, during good and harsh weather, and you even did the climbing walls with me. You've been there as our leader, but most of all, you've been there as the best mom. Thank you, Mom. When I needed someone strong to stand by me, encourage and support me, you were there. You have taught me that respect is earned and that I should treat others the way I want them to treat me. And even though I didn't want to hear it, you gave me some pretty good advice when it came to camping. Thank you, Dad. <coughs> Scoutmasters, who have been there for me in many ways, and taught me what it means to be an Eagle Scout. Mr. Patempo, I want to thank you for always being there for me when I needed one of your pep talks. Those talks helped me focus, helped keep me focused at times when I really needed it. And when it came time for my Eagle project, I knew that as large as it was, I could make it a success because you were by my side. Mr. Buskin, you were my Scoutmaster the longest and you taught me a lot. You were there when I was in SBL, which as we know is a difficult challenge. You supported me in my position by helping me find the confidence needed to be a leader. I know that when I really need you, you will always come through for me. Thank you for believing in me. And Mr. Blankenship, thanks. You are what drew me to this troop. Your love for scouting and your teaching. Your quiet way of showing us how to do something correctly. Never telling us we did it wrong in the first place. Thank you for always leaving the door open and making me feel welcome to walk in. You've always believed in me. You're a teacher, mentor, and lifelong friend. And then there's Mrs. B. What can I say? You're awesome. Thank you for your support and encouragement. To my fellow Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts, who have been a great part of my journey, your help along the, along the way in friendship has given me some wonderful memories. I look forward to many more adventures and challenges together. And to all of you, my family, friends, fellow Scouts, thank you for your support, encouragement, and for taking the time to be here and sharing this special day. <laughs>